Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to see try accept. Okay. And first of all, let us understand what is try accept and why do we use it. So try and accept is basically used to hide the program error from the user. Okay. The best example I could give is when you visit a website at that time, they show you 404 page not found. At that time, it basically shows the error in the back end. Okay, a full error, big fat error basically. And it's just show you that 404 page not found. So that is the thing. You are hiding the main error from the user and showing them a notice that the page is not found. Please go ahead and look for another page. Okay, so that's, that is the concept of this try and accept and uh, let's see how many blogs we have in this try accept and what are the uses of those blogs and how we can write try accept code okay so first block we have is try so in try block you can test your code and if any error errors then try will automatically fire accept block and accept block will contain a message of the error okay and uh, then we have else block okay and else block will execute when you have no error and we have finally block so finally block will execute each and every time no matter you have error or not it will execute okay so let's see how we can use all these blocks okay so first let me write a code which contains error so here i will say uh, try and i will just print hello okay comma and here i will write b i am not going to define this b because i want to create error and yeah one more thing you can't write just try blog you need to write accept blog otherwise it is going to throw you error okay so accept and here i can say error okay so if i just execute this code then you can see we got error because we have not defined this b so it directly fired this accept block and print the message here okay but here if i go ahead and see this error name okay so if i just print b and run this then you can see i have name error okay so here i will go ahead and uncomment this code and you can also write error name in this accept block then i can say name error so here it is going to ex execute on the same way now here it is going to look for name error okay let me tell you that also it is simply going to look for name error okay here it is now not going to look for value error okay so if i run this then you can see error okay now let me generate an value error before starting this okay so if i say a equals to int and here i can say yes it should give me value error a okay here i have value error so i will just copy this code okay uncomment this try block now here i will paste that code okay let me indent it now i have value error and here i have wrote name error let's see now here it has not given us the you know exact uh, error message because here we have told this accept block to look for name error only okay so here if i say value error then it will print this error message ok 
okay i hope you got this idea right now if you will you know write this accept block simply accept block then it is going to look for every errors okay every error type so i would suggest using this accept block only right but you have any very minimal code and you know what error is going to occur and you know the error name then you can write that error name over here and test your code right i hope you got this idea okay now we have else and here in print i will just write else block okay run this code since we have error it is not going to execute this else block but here if i remove this your shendai 21 and execute then you can see 21 and else block okay and last we have finally and uh, yeah i'll just write mm, end of the code okay and i will just run this you can see i don't have error it printed 21 else block and end of the code now i will generate error and run this code then you can see it executed this else i mean this uh, accept block and this finally block so now it is proof that finally block will execute every time whether you have error or not and when you have error it will automatically try will automatically fire this accept block right so i hope you got idea about this try and accept and yes um, our python co course is also now completed now i will upload few videos for the exercise of this uh, python i know i have not given any questions till this journey okay i decided to give questions at the last so you can you know create proper logic in your mind and do the solutions okay so we will do one mini project and before mini project i will just give five to six some questions uh advanced level questions okay and then you should be ready to create the project so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much thank you